Now we come to a vector that joins two points. Now you see, we have already dealt with the position vectors. So this is my my Cartesian space. Okay, this is the three D space, and this is x, this is y, this is z. And we have got two points, okay, and all the points can be indicated by the respective position vectors, okay. So, so we have maybe maybe this is a point, okay. This is this is a point, and this is its corresponding. This is a point, and this is its corresponding corresponding position vector. Okay, so this is R one. Okay, and similarly, there could be another point like this, and the corresponding vector is R two. So, so let us say this is this is P one, and let us say this is P two. Now, I want a vector <coughs> that connects these points. Okay, in a particular direction, and I want that vector to be expressed in terms of these position vectors. You understand? So maybe I have. I I first will do this. See, I want to express express p one p two in terms of this. Now you see with with the with the way they are arranged right now. If you go by the triangle law of addition, you can see one thing: there are two vectors here are arranged head to tail, head to tail. Which of uh, which of them are uh, those two? Zero P one P one. O P one, okay. O P one and P one P two, okay. So I can very well see that O P one according to as per the law of Vector addition, vector addition. I can see that O P one plus P one P two. Okay, O P one plus P one P two gives me O P two. Is it not? So P one P two is O P two minus O P one, and what is O P two? O P two is R two, is it not? So this is R two, and this is R one. So P one P two is R two minus R one, is it not? That is P one P two. So that is that is P one P one P two is equal to that. P one P two. Okay. Now how about P two P one? Oscillatory negative of P one P two is not P two P one is negative of P one P two. That is one way of understanding that. So negative of R two minus R one. So that gives me R one minus R two. Is it not? So P two P one is given by this. that is one way of understanding that or you can do that you can you can you can write that vector right you can draw that vector so maybe this is my the green one is my p2 p1 vector okay so so what happens 
ओ पी टू प्लस पी टू पी वन इज इक्वल टू ओ पी वन एंड ओ पी टू इज आर टू प्लस पी टू पी वन इज इक्वल टू आर वन सो पी टू पी वन इज इक्वल टू आर वन माइनस आर टू सो आई गेट राइट सो इफ आई हैव टू पॉइंट लेट से आई हैव टू पॉइंट गिवेन एंड आई एम आज टू फाइंड अ वैक्टर ज्वाइनिंग दीज टू पॉइंट इन गिवन डायरेक्शन देन आई यूटिलाइज दिस यू शुड यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दैट इफ दीज आर टू पॉइंट ओके देन द देन द वैक्टर इफ आई वॉन्ट पी वन पी टू देन आई शुड डू वॉन्ट आई शुड सी दैट द हेड इज देयर so the vector the position vector at the head minus the position vector at the tail correct position vector at the head minus the position vector at the tail so if someone gives me for example if someone gives me say say 2 3 5 is one point and p and and 7 9 Eleven as the second point, and I want a vector p q. Then what do I do? My head lies here, so I start subtracting this from there. So I get seven minus two five i cap plus six j cap plus six k cap. Do we get that? Because and you'll have to write that the the position vector corresponding to this is. 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 5k cap. R2 is 7i cap plus 9j cap plus 11k cap. That's why. And you are actually asking me to find PQ. So R R1 plus PQ is equal to R2. So PQ is equal to R2 minus R1. Correct. We understand.